Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a little bit of a different video today. I am prepping for Little Miss Allie's third birthday party tomorrow, which is insane. I cannot believe she's going to be, she's actually going to be three tomorrow on her birthday. It's insane. <laughs> I feel like I just had her. If you guys have been with me for a while, I filmed that birth and it was just insane. She was our biggest baby, nine pounds, 13 ounces. And now she's going to be three and she had a doctor's appointment the other day. She's already 43 pounds. She's just, she's just solid. <laughs> anyway, so I'm here at Meijer. I'm going to try to get most of the things from here. Just do like a one and done. I would go to Aldi, but the produce hasn't been good there the last couple times I've been there. And well, last week, and then I had to stop in to get one thing throughout the week, a couple weeks ago and it just wasn't good. So I'm going to do this at Meyer, and before that, I went and got my first pumpkin cream cold brew of the fall season, <laughs> even though it's still summer. It is everything I remember and more. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to head into the store. I have a list of things I want to get. Uh, before I head in, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to be making. All right, I'm bringing you guys down here because people are looking at me weird. So the food, we are getting pizza from Costco. Uh, a couple of those. My mother-in-law is bringing deviled eggs. They are the best. <laughs> uh, for drinks, I'm going to be doing Princess Punch, which I have a recipe um, that I can link down below from Pinterest. It's like ginger ale, sorbet, pink lemonade, like a frozen lemonade from like the freezer section, like the concentrate. And then I forget what else, but uh, pineapple juice sounds really good. I'm really excited about that. Um, and then I'm going to be doing like water and soda. And we'll probably have like beer and stuff for the adults. And then we are, I'm going to be making taco dip. So we're going to serve those with like Fritos or tortilla chips or something like that. And then cheese and crackers with some meat. I'm not doing a crazy charcuterie board this time. Those can get really expensive. I'm trying to stay kind of on a budget here. And then fruits like strawberry, grapes, kiwi. I bought these three tiered pink and gold like serving trays for the party so I have three of those I'm going to use one for cupcakes another time I'm going to use for like the cheese and crackers fruit whatever else I can fit on there and then also we're doing a pinata Allie does not know this yet so I gotta find one of those today <laughs> uh but yeah here is my list I have to get a tablecloth I have to get stuff for the dip um I have to get plates I have to get a happy birthday banner I don't have that in the tablecloth I have to go to my neighbor's house. Mel, if you're watching this, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to bust into her. They're not home. I'm busting into her house and getting the um, thing to serve the princess punch in. I don't have one of those. I need to buy one because we have a, several birthday parties a year. <laughs> so this is my first year or first time ever doing a punch though. But I feel like it's just like a fun. It's pink. Allie thought it was really cool that it was called Princess Punch. And with the pizza, I'm calling it Princess Pizza. <laughs> Could make anything be princessy. Um, and then I just have to get a couple things for this week. I'm not doing a big shop. We're eating out of our fridge, freezer, freezer, and pantry. I do have to get butter, bread, milk, eggs, and cereal, though. That's pretty much it. But anyway, I'm going to go inside now. And hopefully, I can find some things. Maybe I'll try to have a couple of clips here and there. We'll see how busy it is. I'm not one to film inside of a store when it's busy because I'm just not at that level yet. <laughs> Maybe if I'm making, like, thousands of dollars a month, I'll uh, grow up here to be able to film in the store. But today's not the day. So anyway, I'm going to drink this. I'm kid-free. Justin got home last night. I'm very excited about that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go into Meyer, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, so I'm out of Meyer. I didn't film anything in there. It was an effing zoo, and people are all around me right now, so that's why I look kind of weird right now. But that was probably the least enjoyable shopping experience I've ever had. Well, no, that's not true. The beginning of the pandemic, I remember if you guys saw those grocery hauls back then, it was literally miserable. Uh, but people were just completely unaware of their surroundings. Just, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. There's a couple. That's one of them. When people have just have, like, no clue what's going on around them. Like, they're in their own world. <laughs> and this lady just, like, she kept stopping right in the middle of the aisle and just, like, texting on her phone when there was, like, tons of people going through the aisles. And I was like, oh, so rude. Anyway, and then had, like, just another pet peeve is people who just completely ignore their children and do not pay attention 
to what their children are doing inside of a store. And my kids are by no mean angels, but when I have my kids with me, I make sure I'm on them to not run into people or say, excuse me, you know, be polite. These people are just like, these kids were like, it was a free for all up in my day. <laughs> and then I go to back up uh, to get out of the parking spot and a little girl ran, thank God I have a camera. A little girl who was shorter than like half my car, but I have a backup camera, just ran in front of the back, or ran, ran behind me and her parents were already in the car. And I was like, dude, I'm like a psycho with my kids in parking lot. So maybe that's just me. But anyway, I'm going to Target and it is also a complete zoo in this parking lot. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the first weekend back or like after school started, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why that would have any significance, but oh wait, it's Labor Day weekend. That's why. <laughs> Okay, this all makes more sense now. I'm gonna go into Target and try to find a pinata for Allie's birthday party. And hopefully this is more enjoyable than the last time. <laughs> Guys, I found a pinata. It was this or a shark. And I figured we'd go with a traditional pinata for her birthday instead of a shark that has absolutely nothing to do with her princess theme. Then I got some cups for the princess bunch. Score. Okay guys, I'm gonna make this really quick. The only thing that's not shown is water in the trunk. I'm gonna put that in the cooler tomorrow for the party. I got some Coke. Uh, my neighbor slash friend, let me borrow this. So I'm gonna grab that from her house. Loaf of bread, a pinata. <laughs> um, some cupcake liners, those cups I showed you. This was like almost $10. This is the only pineapple juice they had. That hurt my heart a little bit, but got that. Milk, I'm not gonna say what those are, but for the morning, for birthday girl two ginger ales two raspberries kiwi strawberries grapes two things of frosting one just white vanilla and one hot pink vanilla a kobe jack cheese and i thought i had another cheese but i guess not uh cream cheese some salami i got these napkins this tablecloth this happy birthday princess sign some gold plates some crackers for the cheese and salami. Some coffee for the next week. Uh, this is the mix I got. They're all out of the Funfetti brand, which is fine. Some eggs, some sour cream, refried beans for the taco dip, lettuce for the taco dip, butter, Spider-Man Go-Gurts. Two crescent rolls. I forgot to get the little um, hot dogs for the pigs in the blanket, but I can go back tomorrow morning. Some raspberry sorbet. It said strawberry or any mixed berry in the recipe, and this is was the best deal, so I scrub raspberry, some taco cheese for the taco dip, and two things of tortilla chips. And that is everything that I got for this party prep. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of random grocery haul <laughs> slash party prep haul. Uh, if you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. Normally I post every week just your typical grocery hauls. Sometimes I'll have other bonus videos, it kind of just depends. Anyway. Can you open this? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.